回想了三十几年前我在新加坡活的时候，那条新加坡啊，老实说，是一条这个非常忙碌的新加坡河。老实说，那条河一般人称它做是母亲的河。那条河可以说是新加坡的这个经济的命脉。老实说，我对新加坡的感感触就是说，我喜欢新加坡，我爱新加坡河。我想起来，这条新加坡是很值得我们去这个怀念回忆的。我是林子平，我是一个画家。We knew that he's a very serious artist and、uh, works very hard. And subsequently, after years, then we come to be very impressed with his achievements. He has a very unique style. He suddenly realized the themes, the subjects, the things he liked to paint best、uh, is the Chinatown and the old Singapore. So he started going down Chinatown and paint these themes with the Chinese ink. Now that's that create a dilemma, if you like. Why don't I combine the two? You know, I use the Western oil method as an approach. That means you do it on the spot, but I don't paint it in oil. I paint it with ink. The Commonwealth Art Exhibition in 1977. Was a very special program organized、uh, for participation by the Commonwealth countries, and Singapore took part. Lin Ziping was one of the few artists selected to represent the Singapore、uh, participation. During the exhibition, he was awarded a special prize. Well, the fellow artists came to find out that the prize meant a lot to him. For him, it's a kind of breakthrough and、uh, encouragement,、uh, artistically speaking. In 2003, Lin Ziping was awarded the prestigious Cultural Medallion Award for his artistic achievement. His artistic achievement is that he has created a very unique and a very effective style. With his Chinese ink、uh, work, and he has built a big collection with it, and that's his achievement. When you look through his work, a big part of it、uh, was pursued to recapture the old Singapore, if you like. He helped to transport the viewer back to the Singapore of the 1960s, 70s. Lin Ziping is the only Singapore artist. Uh, to have been invited to exhibit in the National Art Museum of China, for any Singapore artist to be invited to exhibit in such a prestigious museum is a great honor. You know? I've been collecting art since 40 years ago. Arts from several countries, like、uh, from Europe as well as from the Asian country, particularly from China.、Uh, Since 18 years ago, I started collecting Mr. Lim's art. When I met him at his home, I was very surprised that he picked up a few of his masterpieces. And his masterpieces actually brought back a lot of my fond memories of Chinatown and Singapore River. And at that time, obviously, you know, I felt uh, that uh, Mr. Lim art. Has captured my heart. Well, today I have more than 50 pieces of his artworks because my collection have outgrown the space that I have at home. I decided to convert 30,000 square feet of my warehouse into an art storage and a private gallery for the collectors as well as the artists in Singapore. I remember in May 2012, Mr. Lim's art was sold at Christie's auction. At 
it fetched the highest price for a living artist in Singapore. And I'm very proud of it. The fact that his art has fetched the highest price for a living artist in Singapore, this is only the tip of the iceberg. I'm quite sure for those who continue to keep his art, will see a bigger gain than what we can see today, maybe over the next 10, 15 years. At his age of 91, he still makes full use of his talent and he is very aware of what he's doing. And I'm so proud that a man of his age still contributes to the society.